We're here again, Comic Con 2013. We're overnight. We're gonna make it into the core panel this time. Yay! Mm -hmm. So I'm Vince. I'm Ryan. I'm Matt. And I'm Sean. Sorry I'm late, guys. Does anybody know what time it is? Hi Vince. We're still in line for uh Cora. We're in line for uh, DuckTales. DuckTales, Jurassic Park 4. Dora the Explorer. Oh Dora Dora the, Dora the Explorer guy came. He looked like Jack Black. And he uh, said a lot of F words. So you got a new costume this year? I'm guessing it's handmade. This is handmade. No. <laughs> Are you serious? Well, uh, didn't you make your costume last year? I know you made, you made that wonderful staff. I made the staff, yes. I did make the staff. I made the necklace and I made the wig. And the rest still being done by a professional. Well, well, you're looking fantastic, I gotta say. You're looking quite fantastic. So you're really into character this morning, so early in, so early in the morning. Um, how do you do it, man? I was born with this much swag. Came from Australia. Nice to meet you. So, all right, stupid question to ask if you're excited this morning. What specifically are you excited about? We get to watch the episode, and it's the best thing ever. Is it the best thing ever? <laughs> well, I'm hoping it will be. Uh, on a on a scale of one to best thing ever, about where is it? <laughs> a solid seven. Okay, it's a solid. <laughs> it's a solid seven on a scale of one. A one to. <laughs> So you're at about a C level and a scale of excitement for for book two, episode one. Who are you? I am cosplaying Feathered Hat Man. Okay, who are you in real life? Real life, okay. Um, my name's Alex. I'm from here. So. Okay, by here do you mean uh, San Diego County? No, just from this exact spot. Oh, you live here. Right. So we're a bunch of people living in your home th today. Sorta, of, yeah. yeah. I'm sorry about that. It happens every year. Yeah, I'm not that sorry. At, uh, at 3 a.m. I went back to my hotel, dropped off a lot of my sleeping things, and I did my makeup. It's a lot of face painting. I usually have brushes. You know, I noticed that, you know, we were over there, we fell asleep, and when we woke up, there was a bunch of Avatar characters everywhere. Uh, can you elaborate? Uh, like why we're here, or? <laughs> no, just the just the transdimensional science slash magic behind how avatar characters can appear within the span of a few minutes overnight. Uh, a lot of us we just came here in normal clothes or pajamas, and then um, the line usually starts moving around five five thirty. So for that, we drop off a lot of our sleeping stuff, change, come back. So the amount of space magic was minimal, you would have to say. Yeah. Well, that's kind of disappointing. Mm -hmm. You know, if you want to see how real pro is, I can loud, give you some no one wants lessons. He's making me so nervous. That's all right. At least you're not as nervous as the firefights get when I come around. So tell us more about your costume. Uh, so it's kind of an inside joke between a lot of the online fan base, where this background character just pops up in a lot of scenes and episodes, and he kind of became a weird Waldo. You know, I gotta say that I recognized you immediately, but at the same time I didn't know who you were. So I, I gotta say that is a really clever idea for a costume. Well, thank you. <laughs> My friends and I were discussing that, you know, as a joke I should, and then they convinced me to do it, and I'm gonna go photobomb people. <laughs> I think photobombing is one of the greatest joys in life. Good morning, miss. What is your name? Yeah, it's good to see you again. How, how you been? How was your evening? Oh, it, was, uh, it was awful. I know, I gotta say, um, it was just awful. Can you elaborate? Well, uh, I had to sleep with my head facing this direction. So, so I was already like out in the open, 
I think I got kicked a few times in the head. Someone stepped on me. So uh, what, what, are you, what are you looking for? How are you feeling about today? Last last year was kind of a bust. Um, what, how, do you, how do you feel about this year? Which question should I answer first? Because you kind of combined like six. I would like you to answer all of them at once. Pants. Pants. There you have it. You heard it here first. How many people are in front of us in line? I don't know, I would say maybe 40, 50. Room, room holds uh, 4,000, 4, right? 4,000, right. Okay. I just don't know if we're gonna get in this year. You guys, we tried, we tried really hard. We said that we were gonna do it and I just, we, we might have failed you again. Na, 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 na. We were at this exact spot uh, one year ago, saying these same things. We are here much earlier, though. Yes. What do, what do you think? What do you well, think, Joey? It's 8 a.m. We still have a little over three hours until the core panel, but we're very close to the front. Uh, we kept our spot in line this whole time. We held our ground. We're about what I don't know, 50 people in. Uh huh. Uh, I think we did it. Chewy. I say let's go. Uh... Thank you so much for waiting. We know you guys, uh, it's, a, it's a rough ride to get into this room and get, we're going to try to get as often as possible for you. So thank you. She said, thanks so much for waiting. We're just going to dive into it because we have a ton of content for you guys. Uh, we hope you enjoy the trailer. Well, here we are in front of the Nick booth, not getting autographs because we opted to go to the core panel instead of waiting around for the uh, signature tickets. But uh, there you can see them. The men, the myths, the ones responsible for all of our hopes and desires in the world. Ryan, if you could summarize Comic-Con in one word, how, what, what would the word be? You, you heard it here first. Okay. 